Mr. Carter, I, first thing I asked him was, what size Super Bowl ring does he wear? Because he's, he's going to a good spot. You know, for some Seminoles, the news was timely. For others, the wait was agonizing. But yesterday's big winner was Florida State running back Dexter Carter. Carter was the last pick of the first round, and he's headed for the best franchise in the NFL, the San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> Dexter Carter is on top of the world because he's on top of the Super Bowl champion 49ers draft list. I think to some people, I've, you know, been going against all the odds as far as playing running back at my size, and now, you know, the dream has come true. I'm in the NFL in the first round. The 49ers drafted Carter for his explosive and versatile ability. During his career at Florida State, the 5'9", 172-pound speedster compiled over 3,200 all-purpose yards, having his best games against the toughest competition. He averaged almost eight yards every time he touched the football. That type of player fits perfectly into the George Seifert system. Out of the systems in the NFL, that system, I, I definitely fit. You know, with San Francisco, as far as throwing to their backs, you know, running out the right field, returning punts and kicks, they want to do both of them, and I'm excited about doing that. The biggest knock on Carter has been his lack of size, but Dexter has been surprisingly durable during his Florida State career, missing only three of 48 games. His 4-3-4 speed in the 40 made him the fastest halfback in the draft. I'm the type of player that you put me in a situation that I can take advantage of my ability and size, you know, I can really, you know, do well. Of course, Carter is ecstatic about getting the chance to play with stars like Joe Montana and Jerry Rice something he dreamed about as a youngster back in Baxley, Georgia. Oh, man, it's a dream come true because there's players that I've seen before I even enter college yeah. and not have an opportunity to play with them and catch balls from them, hopefully win a Super Bowl here soon, <laughs> you know, help them get better. And that's my goal is to help them be a better team and, you know, do the best I can for the organization. I the 49ers also raided the Seminole Reservation, taking wide receiver Ronald Lewis in the third round, the 68th overall selection, and Osgar Odell Higgins in the ninth round. Lewis is a charter member of the Fab Four, has 4-5 speed, and a knack for the big play, like this catch against Miami in the 87 Classic, and the game winner in the 1987 Fiesta Bowl, and of course many others. The 49ers got a steal in the ninth round with the selection of Odell Higgins, a first-team Kodak All-American at nose guard. At 6'2", 260, Higgins is considered undersized for an NFL defensive lineman, but should fight for the position. Odell should do just fine there. Now, in all, seven Seminoles were drafted. Peter Tom Willis is headed for the Windy City and an excellent shot at becoming a starting quarterback in the NFL. Willis will be a Chicago Bear and work under the head coach, I'm Mike Ditka. The Bears quarterback saga, folks, is legendary. We all know it. Of course, there's Tim McMahon and now Jim Harbaugh and Willett and uh, Mike Tomczak will be the chief competition. They're the only two left. The job is wide open, so Willis should get a very good shot in camp. He broke or tied 15 seminal records in his senior year, including most yards completions in a season. Now, for some of